Ladies and gents, we did it. What I learned in bonus school is finally a Cody skin development tutorial. Let's get it. So guys, feel free to jump to a section below, but uh, yeah, I have been waiting years for a good Cody skin development tutorial. I'm just kind of surprised nobody came up to the plate, so screw it. I just finished my master's, I got all the time in the world, and uh, I got a couple projects lined up in a pipeline. Uh, one of them is almost ready, as you can see. But uh, yeah, let me just first say this is not going to be a, a complete dummies guide from A to Z. Uh, Cody skin development is not like HTML where you can just start from nothing. I really wish they did use HTML, but um, it's very complex to the point that you're better off dedicating time to tinker. So, but at the very least, I hope this guy is going to be, um, it's going to jumpstart your journey in a way that, you know, you'll get to a running start. So, so yeah, this video, I'm just going to talk a bit about what Cody is, what are Cody skins, and uh, how do you set up your environment. I've got two videos coming up soon that's going to address more fine grained stuff like XML layout, buttons, colors, etc. Subscribe so you don't miss it. But I will tell you that if you could know, if you know how to code HTML and Python, I think you're going to be in a better position. Now, for those of you who don't know what Cody is, it's basically an open source home theater application for the computer. And it's the kind of stuff where it's like you hook a computer to your, your TV and you've got all your movie libraries and uh, music and photos. And I know that sounds cheesy, but you know, you can do a lot of cool things with Cody. It all started off since the XPMC days, which was sort of like an application for the Xbox original. Uh, when people started hacking it, they were creating all these cool apps for it. And then XBMC was like an open source, uh, you know, like media center application. And basically it allowed people to just pull movies that they, you know, that they're supposed to legally obtain from like ripping their Blu-rays and DVDs back in the early 2000s and uh, being able to watch it off of a network drive to your Xbox original. And obviously it's kind of expanded onto, it's now called Kodi and it's sort of evolved to basically on almost be be an application on almost any platform so and it's really cool i mean the the functionality is sort of superseded by plex i think it was related i don't remember but it kind of does the same thing if you know that you know you know it's like if you you got your movies you ripped your blu-rays you can watch it on any tv in the house um but cody is sort of like linux where you know plex is sort of like for for windows it's cody does a lot more fine-grained stuff um, besides just movies and photos, you could also technically watch live TV on it uh, if you have a TV tuner off of the network. And, um, and also skins too, which I'll talk about in a second. But also, um, unfortunately, I think Cody has had a bit of a bad rep because they're kind of been synonymous with pirates. Um, basically, people being using Cody to, to you know get movies and TV off, off the internet for free. It's illegal. Um, and But... I still think Cody is, is a really cool tool. I mean, it does a lot of cool stuff, like add-ons like a weather app or, or stocks or things like that. I know the Comcast X1 can do things like like uh, check check a stock for you. So, I mean, something simple like that. I, I, I know it just depends on, it's, it's only as good as the developer. And I know there's some people kind of trying to integrate other stuff too, like, um, what is it called? Like Hulu and, and Sling TV. They're trying to get um, that functionality integrated into Cody because, you know, one of the biggest things that I friggin' love about Cody is the user interface. It's customizable. Now, Cody, it, the way it does it is it's called a Cody skin. I know that sounds weird. I don't know why they chose the name. But yeah, Cody skin is basically a theme for Cody, a look and feel, if you will. Uh, basically, you can customize everything like the buttons, the layout, the navigation of Cody to make it look like anything you want. And, you know, it's this is sort of why I put the, together this guide and why I'm kind of going through this venture as you can see here i've got two projects i'm in the uh, process of working here so this here this is about 80 percent done but i can show you guys real quick this is basically mimicking the user interface of the direct tv um you know cable boxes so i don't know if you guys know if you're in the u.s direct tv is a satellite tv company this was their interface back in the early 2000s and i i loved it this is as a kid i wanted satellite tv because of this interface I'm weird like that, but, you know, I love sci-fi. I love futuristic things. It just looks great. I mean, this looks like you're on a beach and such. So that's almost done. Um, and then this is this is actually interesting. So when XBMC first came out and then the 360 came out, this is the Xbox 360 dashboard, the bladed dashboard. Um, somebody created, basically, this dashboard in XBMC. Um, unfortunately, it's it's 
not compatible with the skin is not compatible with any of the newer versions of Cody, but that's kind of what I'm trying to do next is sort of make it um, compatible, like make it uh, upgraded to the newer versions of Cody. So it's, 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 yeah, it's a very long process. I, but you know what, this is sort of what I've been trying to do. And, you know, you could basically create almost anything with Cody. And that's what I really, really like about the application. So yeah. All right, so let's get into it. You're gonna to wanna to download Kodi. Um, for Windows, I would recommend downloading the, the MSI installer. Uh, don't do the Windows store because things are kind of placed you know, weird. I did, I just moved it to window mode just so it's easier to show you guys. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna to go to File Explorer, go to Program Files, wherever you installed it to, um, x86 if it's 32-bit, Kodi, add-ons and in here we're going to copy skin.estuary we're going to copy that and we're going to go to uh, just another folder we have here um, you it's funny I actually did it the hard way and just edited directly in there but you have it, it's don't just edit directly in the C drive in the you know the program files because of um, it's just a mess with uh, user access permissions so we're going to open this up go to add-on.xml use your I'm going to use Notepad in this case, Notepad++. All right, so what we're going to do here on the very top, where it says name, we're going to change the name here to something here. I'm going to do it like demo1. Uh, the ID, uh, keep note of this ID. It's just going to do demo1, um, lowercase there, and then we're going to close out of this. So here in your file explorer, you're going to go back and rename what you just named that ID there. So we'll just call it skin.demo1. Now right click this file and we're going to send to compress zip. Uh, open up Kodi, we're going to go to settings, add-ons, and you're gonna to browse to where you had this add-on installed. Um, install from zip file. It's, oh, and then you gotta to go to settings here and just enable unknown sources, yes, yep. It's all part of the plan. Go back to add-ons and install from zip. And what is it doing? Yes. And just navigate to where you have it. And for some reason it wasn't finding in my documents folder. So I just copied the zip file to my downloads folder and uh, click on demo one here. And it's going to just say, yes, you want to switch to the skin? Click yes. Keep, yep. And here we are. Last thing to do now is make some final preparations. So go to your app data folder, all different with the Mac and, and uh, Linux. So I'll put that in the uh, description as well. But you're gonna wanna go to user data and go to key maps. And this, you're going to basically copy this over from this site, the uh, you know the, the Kodi site how to. So you need that to make some changes and it'll make your workflow a lot easier. So once that's in place, uh, we're going to go to Go back to Kodi, add-ons, and look for the skin that we just created. Skin.demo1, we're gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code. Just click on Trust. And there we go. So every change you're going to do is in here. And let's open up Kodi, I'm gonna show you real quick. And that's it. You could use your F keys to do refreshes, so F5 to reload the add-on as you make a quick change. Um, F7, basically, as you hover your mouse, you know, you'll look in the XML file, you'll see some of these things will uh, point to, so just kind of show you what objects selected. So you can go through the XML file. Uh, makes your life a lot easier. And then this is F7 is the, just to show you what a notification looks like. You could change it to whatever you want. And then, you know, F8 is that toggle to see like the, the debug menu. And uh, yeah, so I hope this helps. Uh, stay tuned for part two and three. And uh, if there's anything you guys have questions for, uh, want to see, whatever, put it in the comment below.